Hi everyone, this is Nicole with Heritage Acres and today we're going to be going over how to install these side mount poultry nipples onto a five gallon bucket. Now if you don't have a five gallon bucket, you can really use any container that you might have, whether it's a milk jug up to a 55 gallon drum. These nipples are really awesome because any container that you can drill a hole into, you can put the nipples on. We like to use these smaller jugs like the juice containers for our brooders to teach the chicks how to use the nipples. Now before we begin with the installation, I just wanted to go over a couple of things with the nipples themselves. As you can see on these containers here, the nipples are meant to go on the side of the container and not the bottom. And one of the big advantages of that is it allows the container to be set on the ground or on a block. You don't have to worry about hanging a heavy bucket inside your your brooders or your runs. Also, these nipples don't store mold or any gunk inside of them, and because they don't store water, they don't freeze. And unlike the vertical nipples, that's a huge advantage. The vertical nipples and the cups, they both hold water inside, so come the wintertime months when things get cold, they'll freeze, crack, break, leak, cause all kinds of issues. The caveat to that being, if it gets cold enough that the water inside of the bucket itself can freeze, you will need to have a submersible heater because if the water inside turns into a block of ice, the burrs won't be able to depress the pin and even if they could, there's no water to come out. There's also a number of foreign copies that have recently hit the market. This installation video is only applicable to our nipples or the Columbus Aqua nipples. And if you look at the back of the nipple, you'll see it says Columbus Aqua on it. If it says that, then this video applies to you. The foreign ones that are on the market right now, they don't have the same standards as these nipples, so they might vary in size quite a bit. So I can't tell you for sure that the dimensions of the holes that we'll be drilling will work for your nipples. So a number of foreign copies that have recently hit the market. Although they look the same as these nipples, they're definitely not. They're made of, of lesser quality material and they're really known for breaking and leaking. If you read the reviews of the duplicates, they're known to fall apart and they're known to leak. And of course, if they fall apart, they're going to completely drain your water container, leaving your birds without water until you happen to notice it. And then the parts that come out, the spring or the pen, that can cause a choking hazard to your birds. So uh, I definitely don't recommend the foreign ones just because they're not made to the same standard as our original ones manufactured in Denmark. Our nipples are the original ones that have been on the market for years and people have to buy them once. I have some of these nipples that are over five years old and they are still working great. They're really a one-time investment. We're the only ones selling the original ones and if you'd like to purchase them you can do so on our website. I'll include a link in the description and below. Also if you purchase them from our website they come with a lifetime leak-free guarantee. So if for whatever reason you have an issue with them, um, contact us, we'll go through some troubleshooting. It's leaking, we'll send you out a free replacement. So we really stand behind the quality of the nipples that we provide because they're really just an amazing quality product compared to the, the foreign ones that are out right now. So now it's time to install the poultry nipples onto our five gallon bucket. When purchasing a five gallon bucket, make sure that you get one that says food grade container on the side. They're available at all of the big box hardware stores, so they're really easy to find. You'll also need a lid, a measuring tape, a Sharpie, Teflon tape, a drill with a drill bit. An 11 30 seconds drill bit is the ideal size, but if you don't have that, then a 3 8 inch drill bit will also work. You'll need the nipples, of course, and we recommend one for every six to eight birds or one for every three or four birds in a hot climate. And then the poultry installation tool is not necessary, but it'll make the installation a lot easier. It really helps screw the nipples in. The first thing we're going to do is measure and mark our bucket for where we want the nipples to be. And you want to mount them about an inch from the bottom. So we're going to put four on this bucket. We'll put one there. Mm. 
After marking our holes, then we're just going to use our drill bit uh, to drill the holes. This is an 11 30 seconds. And when drilling this softer plastic like a bucket, it's really better not to push and just to let the drill bit cut through. If you push too hard, then you'll end up bowing the plastic and then you don't get a good seal with your poultry nipples. Now we'll take our poultry nipples and wrap them in a couple wraps of Teflon. When you wrap the nipples with the Teflon, make sure that you don't have any over the O-ring and the pin so that it stops the pin from operating. Now that we have our poultry nipples wrapped with the Teflon, it's time to install them onto our bucket. When we screw these in, we don't want to screw them all the way so that the flange is flush with the bucket. We only want to screw them in about 80%. If we screw them in too far, then the plastic on the bucket will either bow out or crack and then that's a weak point where they will end up leaking. To start, just screw it in a little bit and then we will use our drill with the installation tool and just finish drilling them in. And then you might have to finish it so that the little lip is on the bottom and it's relatively straight with the bottom of the bucket. And you can see that they are not flush mounted. There is a gap between the nipple and the bucket itself. Now we're almost done. Just one last step and probably the easiest to forget is we need to drill a breather hole on the lid of our bucket. If we don't drill a breather hole, then the bucket will vapor lock. So as the birds drink, a vacuum will form and then they can't get any more water out. So it's really important to drill some breather holes. I usually just do one hole with our installation drill bit, but you can also do multiple smaller holes, whatever works best for you. Also, if you live in a cold climate and you plan on using these buckets in the winter like we do, you can drill an inch and a half or a two inch hole and that way you can pass the plug of a submersible heater through and plug it in. If you do drill a hole for your plug-in, I would make sure that you put either a piece of tape or a rubber stopper in the hole just to keep dirt and things from getting inside of your bucket until you need it in the winter. If you'd like a recommendation on which submersible heater we use here, then I'll include that in the link below also. So now our nipple bucket is complete and it's ready to be filled up with water and added to our flock. <laughs>